Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine at your home. Today we will see looking around environmental studies. Standard 5th. In that in, we will see chapter 6 water is alive. In the previous video part 1 we have seen up to main 5. Today we will see main 6. Answer the following question. See the question number 1. How does the earth absorb water and how does it reach wells and step wells? Answer is rain water that falls on the earth get absorbed by soil and goes for down into the earth. This water finally reaches the wells and step wells. Next point is take a large white plastic. Here the figure is a given. See here. Here it's a figure is a given. You have to draw this figure and understood with the help of this figure. Take a large wide plastic tub as shown in the figure. Fill it with soil. Pour water into it slowly. Let the water get absorbed. Then pour some water. Pour some more water. This water will also get absorbed into the soil. Now make a hole in the middle of the soil. On observing after some time, water can be seen collecting in this hole. Next step, similarly when wells or step wells are dug, water absorbed in the soil reaches them. Now we will see the next page. Question number 2. From where do you get water in your house? Answer is a large water tank has been constructed by the Gram Panchayat or a Nagar Palika of my village or a city. If village is there, then Gram Panchayat and city is there, then a Nagar Palika. Each house has been given a connection to this tank through taps. We get water from such a tap in our house. See the question number 3. For which tax is the water used? Answer is... Water is used for drinking, cooking, for our daily routine, washing clothes and utensils, cleaning the house, farming, building houses, producing electricity and steam, as well as in small and large industries. See the question number 4. What should be done in homes to save water? Answer is the following steps should be taken to save water in homes. Point number one. Take only as much water as in is needed to drink in the glass so that extra water needed not be thrown away. Point two. Only as much water is needed should be used to bath, wash clothes and utensil. More than necessary water should not be used. Point three. Only necessary water should be used for cooking. Point 4. Keep taps flowing only for as much time as needed. Point 5. Taps should not be kept flowing unnecessarily while brushing or shaving, but should be open only in the end to clean the mouth and face. Question number 5. Water is the auxiliar elixir of life. Explain. Answer is, our life depends on water. If the amount of water level in the body decreases, a person experiences dehydration and can also lose consciousness. If there is too much water loss, it can also result in death. Water is most necessary for biological function such as digestion, excretion, circulation of blood, etc. Since water is extremely necessary for sustention of life, we say that water is the elixir of life. Question number 6. State 4 situation wherein you have seen water being wasted around you. Answer is, when people keep taps running when they wash clothes or utensil. Next point, the taps open and flowing all through the time. They are in the bathroom. Next point, the taps open for a long than needed when they water their gardens. Next point, people do not repair leaky taps quickly. Question number 7. What benefits do we get from rain? Answer is, we get water for drinking, household tasks and irrigation from rain. 
we can grow food grains other crops and vegetables only with the help of rain water rivers lakes and wells get refilled with the help of rain water so we have water to use all year round main 7 answer is asked number 1 find names of eight water resources hidden in the word grid below and write them in the blanks given first of all we will see the words that are made given in the grid okay see the pond then rain stream well sea tube well lake and river so you have to write down here name rain pond sea stream river lake tube well and well now we will see the second one water on the earth is uh, for one and all write such six, six slogans you have to write down six slogans for saving water slogans of water number 1 if there is water there is life number 2 do not think of water as merely water and waste it num point 3 every drop will fills an ocean point 4 water is our most precious well point 5 water is the elixir of life point 6 save water water will save us point 7 repair leaky taps stop water wastage point 8 we cannot make water but we can definitely save it now see the next page hot question choose the correct alternative from those given below each questions and write its index letter alphabet in the box provided against each question number 1 which of the following is not a source of water A river, B lake, C sky, and D well. Answer is option C sky. Number two, where is Gadishashar, Gadishashar lake located? A in Surat, B in Jaisalmer, C in Jodhpur, and D in Alwar Jilla. Answer is option B in Jaisalmer. Number six, uh, not number six, number third. What should be done to stop rainwater from flowing away? Point A: build lakes. B: build check dams. C: let rainwater soak into the ground. And D: all of the given. Answer is option D: all of the given. Here your chapter is completed. We will see the next chapter in the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy. Okay, bye.